now I have the key. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. It's locked. Wow, these are heavy. The poem said when the first king ascends again. This side looks damaged. I'll have to choose which side of the cube goes here. Nothing happened. This should be the last step. I wonder what's inside. Blank. Who's your friend, Nancy? <coughs> Boo. Taylor Sinclair. Who'd you expect, the Tooth Fairy? Looks like someone forgot her beauty cream. I guess we can't all age gracefully. I'm sure she would say the same about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy, but I'm afraid you're just not going to make it in the art world. Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? This tomb and all of its contents belong to Mexico. Finders keepers, I say. Nobody even realizes this thing has any contents. Won't they get a surprise when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective? Adios, Nancy. Something's missing here. I'm starting to run out of air in here. I got 
gotta get out of here. This may be the scribe's notes about Bacall. I can't breathe! Behold! Our heroine emerges from the tomb, like a mermaid from the sea! Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. From deep in the recesses of time, a wise royal scribe whispers her thanks. And a priceless chapter of history is rescued from obscurity. Way to go, Nancy! What in the world? Ah! Confound you, Nancy Drew! Dear Dad, it was great to talk to you on the phone last night. I can't wait to see you back in River Heights where I can fill you in on the whole story. Can you believe that your own daughter was recently standing face to face with a real mummy? Now that the scribe's book has been recovered, I understand how important it is and why Taylor thought he could make a fortune selling it on the black market. The book contains one of the only personal accounts of Maya life and existence anywhere. I'm sure it'll be a tremendous addition to our knowledge of the Maya, once it's translated, that is. And now that Henrik's memory is back up to speed again, I'm sure he'll be itching to get to work on it. Taylor Sinclair won't be making any art deals for a long time, though, that's for sure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about Alejandro's discovery that the Pakal Carving's provenance documents were faked after all. When Franklin Rose and the board found out, they arranged to return the artifact to Mexico right away. Mexican officials are so happy to have the artifact back, they have pledged a new era of diplomatic relations with Beach Hill. Joanna sure learned her lesson about making deals with shady operators like Taylor. The board has agreed to give her another chance, as long as she reforms her business tactics. And what else? Oh yes, Poppy Dada's announced a new direction in her artwork. All her new paintings are going to feature, what else, mysterious red handprints. So I guess everyone is taking off in new directions now. I'm going to stay and help this exhibit get launched. But I'll see you back at home in a couple of weeks. Have a safe trip home. Love, Nancy. Dear Nancy, Bess and George told me you're on a case in D.C. I hope everything is working out for you. I wish I could say the same for me. I'm planning on living here. But there's been some trouble. I think someone or something doesn't want me here. Please, Nancy, I'm afraid I can't stay here very much longer. I know you're busy, but I'm desperate. I need you to come out and investigate. Please say you will. Your friend, Sally. <laughs> <laughs>